paddlers. Today I'm in Manitowoc, Wisconsin on the shores of Lake Michigan. I'm about an hour and a half directly north of Milwaukee and I'm standing on the south side of the Manitowoc River. Now I've never stepped foot in the city of Manitowoc before but for some reason I feel like Manitowoc is going to be the epitome of every stereotype you've ever heard about Wisconsin and Wisconsinites and that has nothing to do with Charlie Barron's. Uh, I, and I mean that in the most affectionate way, Manitowoc-ians. It's the third week in October and the weather is starting to suck, but today we got a great day. It's about 50 degrees and there is almost no wind at all. So I will most definitely be spending a little bit of time in Lake Michigan. Not a ton. I think I'm going to stay within the break wall, but I really want to check out that lighthouse over there. So let's head on over to the harbor and get on the water. So as an added bonus, uh, pretty fortunate situation for unloading a kayak. This is going to make me feel like I'm about six and a half feet tall. Manitowoc is not huge. It's got a population of only about 35,000 people and the whole county has about 50,000 people. It's rather an industrial city. Commercial fishing also seems to be a business around here. There's all kinds of places that you can get a private charter. Filling around in the harbor within the breakwater just a little bit, but I am kind of anxious to go up the Manitowoc River. I'm at the back side of that sculpture that I showed you when I first rolled into town on the south side of the Manitowoc River. And when I first looked at that sculpture, I thought, why does that bear have a pogo stick? It's not a bear. That would be a badger, Wisconsin badgers. Um, and that is an ice auger. That made a lot more sense once I realized that and when I could see the full sculpture. Probably the biggest attraction in Manitowoc is the Wisconsin Maritime Museum. Right behind me you can see the USS Cobria which was launched uh, from Connecticut in 1943. This right here was responsible for sinking 13 Japanese vessels over its six missions during World War II. You can come to the Maritime Museum and tour it, climb on it, uh, as well as other exhibits from a lot of the Wisconsin and Midwest shipwrecks. Now let's see a little bit more of the river. Shipbuilding, that's a thing if you live in Manitowoc. Recently I posed the question on a Wisconsin Facebook paddling group. I'm going to be in the Manitowoc Two Rivers area, but I only have one day to paddle. Should I paddle Two Rivers or should I paddle the Manitowoc River? The overwhelming majority of them said, not here. So I guess that's a little bit of an example of how I like to go against the grain sometimes. Um, and they all had really valid points about what wonderful wildlife you're going to see in the Two Rivers area. And I'll get there one of these days. But 
sometimes um, I really don't mind a nice industrial paddle or an urban paddle. Just something different to see once in a while. Um, oh, I'd love to come back and see the wildlife in the Two Rivers area, but it's not going to be anything terribly different than I'm seeing in other parts of Wisconsin. But I mean, haven't seen that before. So new experiences. Well, that looks like a ship they're building and it's for my hometown. Assuming that's another one of the tour boats that'll be on the Chicago River. And if you haven't checked out my Chicago River adventure, that was next to Tahoe, probably one of the more fun things I've done all summer. version of Freighter Hospital. If you want to pedal the Manitowoc River, but you want to skip the downtown industrial urban part, there's a public boat launch right here at Manitou Park. It looks like they've already taken their canoe and kayak launch out of the water, which is ridiculous. Kayak season is not even close to over. I'll be on the water for at least another month. Um, it might not be pretty, it might not be pleasant, but I'll be out there. Got a giant Yeti full of hot tea in case I got cold. It's just the perfect temperature. But as I do many times, I failed to bring anything to eat. I've got this granola bar that's been in my paddle bag for about six weeks. And it's really pretty sad, but surprisingly delicious when it's the only thing you have with you. didn't see those guys till I was right on top of them. Uh, I was afraid all of our migratory birds were going to be gone by this time of the year, but I guess we have a few holdouts. I was just about to comment on how clean and free of litter this river was compared to the last river in this part of the state-ish that I paddled being Fond du Lac. That was a hot mess. Um, I was just about to say I didn't even see any tires, but there you go. It's not Wisconsin unless you see a tire in the river. It's a big ass tire too, like monster truck tractor. I just stirred up a heron, so maybe we can catch up to him or her. So I'm approaching about five miles from where I launched at the harbor, and I got just one spot that was just a little bit shallow, um, not even shallow enough to be worried about having Kevlar on this river. This river is a really easy river to paddle, uh, and what I mean by that is it's plenty, plenty wide for a boat this long. I can turn around super easily. It's wide, it's deep, it's not really windy, um, and the current, like I can't even detect a current on this river. just reached the town of Manitowoc Rapids and I decided it was time to turn around. I'm in water that's probably about only eight or nine inches deep and um, time-wise it's just time to turn around anyhow. But what a great five miles it's been. 
I love the combination of the urban industrial and taking that uh, into nature. I could I could paddle for miles and miles more on this water. Uh, I think we're kind of caught up on rain, so I don't know if this is normally this low or in another year I would be able to go a little bit farther upriver from here. But I'll, I'll definitely come back, uh, maybe in the spring, when the water is high, and give another go, see how far I can go. hard for me to admit that the leaves are pretty because of what that represents to me. If I could just skip November through February. Winter in Wisconsin sucks. It's cold. It's miserable. We have to shovel. We just all sit around getting fat. And I just want to paddle all year. Brittany, someone loves you. That would be really cool to go up all those steps to see what the view is like from up in that thing. Oh, Manitowoc has a smell. When I first rolled into town, it smelled like burnt sugar. And I don't know what this industry thing is um, right but I think that's making a stick. Any guesses what that industry is? Let's check Google Maps. A food manufacturer. Yeah it smells like food but it smells like burnt food. Harbor. One of the things I was hoping to see in Manitowoc that is not here right now, unfortunately, is the SS Badger. The SS Badger is the car ferry that will take you and your vehicle and 179 of your closest friends vehicles from Manitowoc to Ludington, Michigan, 60 miles across Lake Michigan. I read that there was a mechanical issue with the loading ramp on the SS Badger, I think in July, unfortunately putting it out of commission for the rest of the season. But it sounds like a pretty sweet ride if you want to take the four hour journey, uh, if you ever need to go to Ludington from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. That's all the time I have today for Manitowoc, but I think I'll be back. I would love to come here sometime and spend the weekend, maybe check out the Maritime Museum and experience some of the local culture. I'm glad you came with on my adventure today. This was a surprisingly interesting and fun paddle for a city I never gave any thought to whatsoever in my 25 years of living in Wisconsin. But like I said, I will be back. Thanks for coming with on my journey today and I hope to see you next time. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my next adventures. I'll see you next time.